Hello everyone, this is Imran Ali here. Welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to talk about how you can add a contact form on your Google Sites. So as you can see, we are at Google Sites right now. And uh, the process for this putting like inserting your contact form is very easy. So first you need to open your website on your Google Sites, right? And you can see this is my Google Site, which I just simply uh, insert in from the themes of Google right so it's very normal so on the right side you have your menu and pages and themes and you all know about that so we need to add a contact uh, contact form right so first you need to locate your page wherever your page is and uh, wherever you want to put that information so you can see this is I just created this and if I click on it this page will open like this but obviously there's nothing over here right now so I just want to make this page for only uh you know contact form so how you can do that so obviously this is a google site right so there's an option which is called like if you go in insert and if you scroll down there's an option called forms so if you click on it you will find your all forms over here whatever in your like you have saved in this id right so right now you can see i have twitch questionnaire and this isn't i want that in my contact form right so we need to create that so how you can do that easily go back to your google site or what you can do i'm just gonna go open new tab and i'm just gonna write google forms and when you search that it will open up like this you can just uh, click on this one or this one it's all on you it will take you on google forms and here we are so right now we need a contact form right so obviously there is uh, there are many pre-made already by google which you can see over here contact information and i'm going to open this for you guys so we can see that right easy so it's right now opening and here it is as you can see it's very simple and everything uh you know everything has been pre-made but for this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create that like how you can do that so right now i'm just going to close this i'm going to go to the blanks obviously you can use that but for those people who don't want to like they want to create themselves from the scratch they can also do that so obviously we are at blank page and right now i'm just gonna write contact uh, form right after that you just need can like you can easily add description like contact us right i'm just writing it down because obviously this is a tutorial right so first question which would be name and uh, you can see this option if you click on it you can see there are multiple options you can choose for your customers to add so right now for the name obviously we need a short answer which would be name right so i'm just going with this right otherwise you have paragraph multiple choice questions um check per se but we don't need that over here right so i'm just going with the short questions and over here you can see we have required button so what it does if someone opens this contact form they need to fill out their name otherwise it won't count you know so right now this is my first question second would be email and every question would be short answer right because email is not that big right and uh, required question right next question is phone number simple is that and same short answer required and the last one is message so for the message i'm going with the long pair and right now i'm just going with this required so that's it this is my form but it looks very simple right so what you can do if you go over here customize theme and you can just customize every single thing even uh, you know fonts and tags and you can even choose the header like above over here you can just search for it if you want you know you can upload it you can just uh, search for photos from your library so i'm just going with the like normal one like uh, this one and uh, it will add over like obviously on the header and when it's done you can see everything has changed accordingly it's because theme should be the same right and you have some colors over here which you can choose i'm going with this little bit dark tone because it looks good and you have your header uh, fonts and every single other thing which you can do and just play around right after that so right now i'm just going with this one and if you click on responses every responses you get you will get will end up over here but before that 
you need to toggle this on acceptance responses and if you click on this create spreadsheet it will create a spreadsheet on your google uh, excel sheet automatically you don't you just need to create on this uh, like click on this and uh, what it does if someone's like if i'm going to fill this out it will create a separate sep uh, separate spreadsheet for you and it will also show over here like who filled that out so if you want this you can just go ahead and create that otherwise uh i don't think maybe like if you want to like uh, like save those contacts on your excel sheet you can just go ahead and do it after you have your settings like make this quiz obviously this is an quiz, right this is the responses you can just edit that like collect email send responders a copy of the response presentation and uh, some restrictions which you can just disable which is this one because uh, you can see responders will lose their progress if their browser closes or refresh obviously this is in a quiz so if that even lost they can easily fill that out again so all those options you can just play around for yourself and if you want to see this how it will look like you can just click on this preview and it will open a new tab and you can see over here that this is how it will look like so obviously it's very easy to create and obviously you just need to create this uh, with a perfect title right contact form for a website and save obviously so from now on it's very easy you can see how you can just go ahead and create your own contact form and after that if i go back to my forms home menu you will see it has been saved over here obviously this was a template i'm just not going to use this and i'm going to remove this and uh, right now you can see it's very easy to pay so how we are going to put this on our website right so you just need to go back to your website and this is my website right i'm going to click on it and it will open up once it's open go back to your pages find that page and here i'm going to add that form so how you can do that go to insert scroll down find that forms and you will see that we will get a form over here like this is so easy to add that right just click on it and uh, you can see right down below obviously you can just click multiple but we don't need that we just need this one and uh, go ahead and click on insert once it's insert you can see over here we can just easily access that and people can easily access that while opening this website right we can just easily you know set this web width for this website uh this form so it will look like like in the middle and obviously obviously you can just resize it and you can add more things on this page uh, separately so obviously you can just go ahead and click on preview you will see like how it will look like on uh like a desktop view and a mobile view you can just do that and you can add multiple things from over here there's no you know no restriction at all you can see you have your section colors you can just change the color for the background if you want you can just do that easy right so that's how you are going to add a contact form on your google sites it's very easy and you just need to go ahead and create your own form or if you want to take uh like pre-made contact information and edit that you can also add it pre-made right so you can do that also so it's very easy so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand every single thing please leave a like and subscribe if you have any queries please comment down below thank you for watching this video bye bye take care